Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry of fermentation. All right, so fermentation is a process of taking a sugar and breaking it down to form alcohol, acids, or gas. So let's take a look at a simple reaction of fermentation. So first we start off with our sugar. And in this case, we're starting off with D-glucose, which is one of the most common sugars in nature. So if we look at it really carefully, we can see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And so the first step is breaking glucose down into pyruvate. And so, if we look at the pyruvate, we can see it only has one, two, three carbons, half as many as glucose. But in this reaction, we actually form two pyruvates. So we can see that basically we've split our sugar in half and are starting to form a smaller molecule. So, the next step of fermentation is taking our pyruvate molecules and making them into an alcohol and a gas. In this case, we're forming ethanol and carbon dioxide, or CO2. So, let's look at the structures a little bit more closely. Right now, pyruvate has three carbons like we already said, and ethanol has two. And so this is one less, and over here we can see that our third carbon went to carbon dioxide. And if we look at our pyruvate molecule, we can actually tell that this carbon right here was bonded to two oxygens already. So what happened was these three atoms separated and formed gaseous carbon dioxide, and these two carbons with an alcohol ended up forming ethanol. Uh, and so this is our basic schematic of how we take a sugar and turn it all the way down into alcohol and a gas. And so if you've ever uh, had any type of beer or made your own beer, what you're really doing is going in this process of fermentation. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is The Chemistry of Fermentation. Thank you.